Hey guys, Nick here, and I have some Black Ops 2 gameplay. I'm using the MP7 with a silencer and fast mags, and currently the MP7 is my most used weapon. So uh, yeah, I'm using it this game because I joined this game in progress and my team was losing. So I decided I would, you know, go out and try and see if I could help my team win. But anyways, today I don't really want to talk about my gameplay. I want to talk about monitors, especially when it comes to gaming. So um, I guess it was maybe two or three years ago that I got my first uh, first LCD monitor that was mine and that I used for gaming. So like the first, say, you know, uh, 100 or 200 videos I posted were uh, gameplays of me using my first uh, gaming monitor. So prior to this point I had always played on televisions, so I really had no idea, you know, that a gaming or that a monitor was even good for gaming. Um, but I had recently bought a computer and I had my capture card in my computer so I needed to play on the monitor so I you know I thought why not I have a headset anyways I don't really need speakers um, so I'll just play on uh, on my monitor so I did that and it actually turned out to be a really good decision um, now it wasn't something that I noticed immediately um, at first, it was just, you know, this is a good experience, it's not bad, it, it, it wasn't immediately bad, but uh, now that I'm used to it, r it really feels weird to play on a television, especially like an LCD or plasma television, um, because they have a lot of input lag. So first, let me explain to you what lag is, because some people don't seem to understand what the term lag actually means because it's you know a term that's kind of abused on the internet uh, most people when they hear lag they think of you know um, internet connections or you know ping um, which is, is kind of true ping is like lag but uh, they're not exactly the same thing so um, what lag means is it's it's generally the time between two signals so it's it's the time uh, the difference between two different signals. So um, if one signal takes 10 seconds to get to some place and uh, a second signal takes you know five seconds, the lag is five seconds. So the second signal lags five seconds behind the first signal. So anyways, <laughs> this might be getting too complicated. I, I don't really want to confuse anybody. I just kind of want to clear things up here. Um, so lag is the difference in time between two signals. So what input lag is, is it's the time it takes for the picture that is generated by your computer, your Xbox, your PlayStation. Um, it's the time it takes for this signal to get from the device that is generating it. So from your console to your um, television monitor or whatever. So. Um, let's say you're playing on a plasma TV and it's got some really bad input lag. It might take, say, 150 milliseconds to get from your Xbox or PlayStation to your television. So, you know, 150 milliseconds is 0.15 seconds. There's a thousand milliseconds in a second. This is, this is kind of turning into like uh, a lesson here, but <laughs> there's a thousand milliseconds in a second. So 150 milliseconds of lag is 0.15 seconds. So you know you might not think that that's bad, but it really is because um, I believe if you have a 60 frames per second video, um, 150 milliseconds is quite a few frames. I believe it's 16 milliseconds per frame around there. So that's like eight or nine frames that you're you're falling behind. So um, what this essentially causes is it ca it makes it really difficult for you to uh, aim accurately because um, what you're seeing on your screen is something that happened 150 milliseconds ago. So 150 is really bad um, when it comes to input lag. Generally for a monitor you want less than 16 milliseconds which is less than one frame or if you're playing at 120 hertz you want less than 8 milliseconds so um, you want to play on something that has a lower input lag and uh, what I'm trying to get across here is that televisions have image processing so they take an image and then they like try and make the colors more vibrant and pop out more and that sort of thing and uh, this takes time it, it takes a very small amount of time and when you're just like watching a movie it doesn't really make a difference if if uh, you know your signal is 25 milliseconds 100 milliseconds however however long um, behind what is being displayed but when you're playing games it really does make a difference so um, monitors don't have image processing they don't 
process the image before it's displayed, or at least not in the sense that a television processes an image before it's displayed. So um, they generally tend to have a significantly lower input lag. Now you can find some televisions that uh, that have a low input lag, and uh, you know this this does happen sometimes. But most televisions have a high input lag, and most monitors have a low input lag. Now there are certain monitors that you know aren't as good for gaming, but most monitors are relatively good for gaming. Now um, the MLG, the Major League Gaming Circuit or whatever, um, for a while they were using uh, an Asus monitor, the Asus VH236H, which is like a $150 23.6 inch monitor, so it was cheap, um, it performs well, it has low input lag, good response time, so it was a good monitor. But uh, another thing I wanna, I wanna get across here is that is not the best monitor. A lot of people think just because the Major League Gaming Circuit decided to use it um, makes it the best monitor. No, it's because Asus gave them a good deal on it. It was cheap. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure they probably got them for free, uh, plus maybe money. I don't really know. But uh, <laughs> just because they used it does not make it the best monitor, but it is definitely a good choice. Um, I believe now they're using the BenQ GL. 2450 HM or something like that. I don't know. Um, another kind of medium end monitor. It's not really high end, but um, it's it's still a decent monitor. So you can get a decent monitor for gaming for 150 to 200 dollars. Um, look on the internet. There's a lot of good options. You can you know have lots of choice in exactly which one you uh, which one you decide to get. But I highly recommend that you get a gaming monitor uh, because of input lag. Another thing is response time. This is the time it takes for pixels to change. And uh, if pixels take a long time to change, you get blurry images and uh, ghosting. And it just does not look as good, especially for something fast-paced like video games. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's about it. That's kind of why... Um, in a relatively short sense why, why monitors are better than televisions in terms of gaming. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, thanks for watching the video, guys. Please like if you enjoyed, subscribe for some more, and I'll see you later. Bye.